But what made Dr. Sebi a target? And why now? Well, simply put, they've been tracking Dr. Sebi for years. Ever since he beat the Supreme Court case, they have had their eye on him. They wanted revenge. They wanted to teach him a lesson for running his mouth. But what was the information that made Dr. Sebi so dangerous? Well, Dr. Sebi said, there's only one disease, mucus. More specifically, an oxygen-deprived acidic body will foster mucus, which will cause diseases. Essentially, no diseases can live in an alkaline body. This is caused by the body trying to get rid of waste and dead cells. This is called a cleansing process or healing crisis. Europeans call this a disease or STD. Europeans label the garbage disposal action of bacteria as the disease instead of the cause of waste accumulation as the disease. They therefore treat the bacteria instead of eliminating the waste. The fear of germs, catching a cold, infections, STDs, are superstitions, terrorism created for the body by the elites. According to Dr. Sebi, a person with AIDS is basically someone with mucus in the lymphatic system, skin, and blood. By removing the mucus, the person is cured of AIDS. Section, we're going to talk about what to eat. Now, J.P. Morgan and Rockefeller saw there was money to be made, and so they transformed medicine into an industry and supported the money-making surgery, radiation, and synthetic drugs on the side of the allopathic doctors. Profit and greed is what it boils down to. They did the same thing with the car industry. Today we're still using 200 year old technology. We can look at Nikola Tesla. He had inventions for free energy and wireless electricity. But instead the banksters suppress his inventions and charge for energy. This is similar to what they have done to the human body. Instead of using free medicine that nature provides, they create synthetic chemicals based on natural herbs that they patent and then charge you for. It comes to a point where they have run out of diseases, so now they're creating synthetic viruses. Whites are generally more healthy than black Americans because they can afford a more healthy lifestyle. And their neighborhoods are not surrounded by Kennedy fried chicken and so many fast food restaurants. You would be hard pressed to find any healthy food alternatives in a supermarket in a black neighborhood because the owners refuse to order these healthy food alternatives because they are too expensive and they know their black customers won't buy it. Essentially, black Americans buy their food based on the cost and not the quality of the product. And although this is mostly because of poverty, there also is a toxic mentality that if someone is eating healthy, they're eating white. But if someone is eating soul food, they're eating black. So the interest in cures, only the profit that is generated from medical treatments. Perhaps black Americans, this is an opportunity to conquer uncharted territory and be the authority figures on healing and producing cures. Perhaps this is your calling to be the ones to use nature and heal the world.